Hi, my name is Tim, and in this short video, I'm going to guide you through all the proper steps in order to diagnose a faulty gas valve within the gas boiler simulator. Now, we're going to begin by ensuring that the thermostat's calling for heat, so we're going to click this little orange circle here, which will turn the selector switch to heat. This will also increase the room temperature setting to ensure that the thermostat is actually above the room temperature. Now, at the end of each step, we're going to need to refer to the top bar here, so we're going to click OK after each step. Next, we need to remove the cover from the boiler and take an inventory of which loads are operating. So now that we've done that, we're clicking OK. And if we look in, we can see our burners are not firing here. We do have a pilot flame, but there's no burners, so we're going to click No here. Next, we're going to take a look at the circulator pump. And evidenced by the spinning blue graphic, the circulator is in fact running. So we're going to click yes here. Next, we need to see if the vent damper is actually open. Now the vent damper closes off the flue passageway on the off cycle, preventing heated air from migrating up the draft hood or draft diverter and out of the space. And of course, this would lead to considerable heat loss. Uh, this is similar to ensuring that you close the damper on a fireplace when it's not in use. Now, if the vent damper motor is actually driven the damper open, the shaft right here would be vertical, and we can see that, in fact, it is. If the vent damper motor is not energized, the shaft would be flat or horizontal. So the vent damper is, in fact, open. Now, it does have an end switch that could still be faulty, but we're going to click yes for now. Our pilot is lit. We've already established that. Next, we want to check for any obvious loose connections. And if we look here at the gas valve, we don't see any loose connections here. The wires appear to be secure, so there's no loose connections. Next, we're going to take some voltage readings. And probably the easiest thing to do is to start right at the gas valve. But before I do that, let's click on the wiring diagram down here at the bottom left. And if we take a look at the wiring diagram, which is interactive, meaning all the switches are going to be shown in the position they're currently in within the burner cycle, we can see the gas valve over here on the right. And preceding the gas valve is a series of four safety switches. The first one being the vent damper end switch, which is a proving switch for the vent damper, a spill switch, rollout switch, and a low water cutoff. So it's possible our gas valve is faulty, but it's also possible that any one of these safety switches is open as well. So probably the easiest thing to do is measure for 24 volts at the gas valve. So let's store the wiring diagram away, and we're going to take the leads and place them at the coil connections or solenoid connections at the gas valve. And when we do this, we can see we have 24 volts at the gas valve. And again, this verifies that all our safety switches are closed and the gas valve is in fact receiving 24 volts. So we're gonna click yes up here. Um, what I wanna show you on the gas valve um, is that normally before replacing it, even though we're pretty sure it's faulty, I would suggest always turning the power off, isolating the, the coil on the gas valve, in other words, disconnecting one of the wires, and then doing a resistance check across the gas valve coil to verify it's open. Um, another suggestion would be to measure the main gas pressure coming into the gas valve. If it's unusually low, that may result in the gas valve not opening as well, but in this case, it's an electrical problem. Now we're gonna click on the gas valve and we're gonna replace it. And we fixed the problem. We're going to click OK. Now, the last thing is to verify one full burner cycle and go up in the home and just uh, verify that heat is actually being delivered to the space, which we can see here from the graphic on this piece of baseboard radiation that, in fact, heat is being delivered to the space. So you've solved that problem with a bad gas valve. Good luck on your service calls, and I'll see you back here soon. Thanks for watching. You can try our on-demand VR-enabled learning for HVAC by signing up for a free trial. Go to interplaylearning.com to get started.